All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to talk about Errol Spence Jr. being called out by, and you know this is comedy, Roly Romero. But what he said is worth listening to and because it's also going to show you what is going to be happening over the next year or so, next couple years in the 147 pound division. So let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the hundred, <laughs> the 147 weight pound division where Roly Romero says that he is headed and looking for a fight with Errol Spence Jr. Now, before I get into that and what the ramifications of what he says are and whether it's realistic or whether anything that comes out the mouth of Roly Romero is really realistic. Let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you so much for your support. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. is the uh, 147 pound champion for the WBA, the WBC, and the IBF. Uh, he should be soon, hopefully, prayerfully, announcing a fight with between himself and Errol and Terrence Crawford for the undisputed championship of the world. Uh, the first time at 147, there would have been an undisputed champion in a long time. I do believe the last person to achieve that goal was uh, Zab Judah in the 90s. I don't believe that was a century. I do believe that was in the 90s. Uh, but forgive me if it was in the early 2000s. Those That time frame kind of overlaps for me a little bit. But been a very, very long time. And uh, so obviously there's a lot of buzz around his name. And whenever there's a lot of buzz around your name, you're going to have a lot of people saying uh, using your name to get themselves uh, to keep them in the forefront of people's attention. And that is what Roly Romero has done by saying that he wants to fight. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. that he is going to go up to 147 pounds and he wants to fight Errol Spence Jr. and called him all kind of names in the midst of doing it. Droopy eyed this, droopy eyed that, droopy eyed this, droopy eyed that, right? All kind of clowning, clownishness coming out of him. And look, if this was not, um, Roly Romero, I would, and it had not worked so well for him before these type of antics. I would say, yeah, maybe you're still delusional. Maybe you, you know, maybe you still a little bit punch drunk from, you know, from that knockout you got from Gervonta Davis at 135 pounds. I don't know what would make you think that you're going to be able to go up to 147 pounds and eat, first of all, even get an Errol Spence Jr. fight. If you've not noticed, there is a very, very long line for Errol. And most times that Errol is fighting people, it are, there are people who are legitimate champions or people who are legitimate uh, competition. I have not seen in Errol Spence Jr. involved in any sideshow Bob type of fights as of right now. So more than likely the shot sideshow... <laughs> Sideshow Raleigh, show or Roley, excuse me, Sideshow Roley is not about to get that fight with Errol Spence Jr. However, um, well, that's not going to happen. But I just think that what what Roley Romero is doing is what Roley has gotten Roley Romero success in the past. All of the success that he's had has come from being like this. So you know, it's not going to change anytime soon. He's going to do this and probably can do this consistently for the rest of his career. And because he's good at it, is going to make a career out of it. He's actually a little bit better at it than like, say, Blair Cobbs, who's already at 147 pounds, who was doing a lot of that, you know, except for, you know, Ro I think the difference between Roly Romero and um, 
Roly Romero and uh, Blair Cobb is that Roly Romero is a little bit more um, like it's obviously a comedy show. He's a little bit funnier. Uh, and honestly, he's a little bit more fun to watch because he's a big knockout puncher. And that's something Blair Cobb is not. However, it has done him, treated him well. So you can expect for him to continue to do this and do this and do this uh, for the rest of his career. Similar to a guy that he, uh, that a lot of people are reminded of when they look at Roley, which is uh, a guy, a welterweight from the late night from the 1990s. Man, I believe this is the 1990s. I'm getting old. Uh, which is Ricardo Mayorga, who got fights with Felix, T uh, Felix Trinidad, Vernon Forrest, right? I think that uh, Ricardo Mayorga may be a little bit better fighter than uh, Roley Romero is, because, or at very least, he's got some signature wins, like against specifically against Vernon Forrest, who was a very high level welterweight, somebody that had beaten Shane Mosley. I'm not sure if you're going to get Roley Romero to have that level that level of a win in his career. He has not had that as of yet. And in fact, a lot of people thought he lost to Jackson Marinez and then Jack Jackson Marinez turns around and gets knocked out by um, Frank Martin. So that Jackson Marinez uh, fight aged really badly. Uh, the other side of it, though, is uh, people who are at least though he does have a lot of people who I would consider to be tank haters acting like he won some rounds against Gervonta rounds. I didn't see him winning What I what I saw him was I saw him throwing a lot of shots and and getting and having Gervonta Davis set him up. But, you know, but one thing that he did say that Roley did say is true that, you know, he's eventually going to go up to 147 pounds, you know, that he's going to try to fight at 140 pounds. After that, he's probably going to be at 147 pounds. I think that's going to be the path for a lot of those guys, those the guys that were the uh, that are at that 135 pound weight division, specifically uh, Ryan Garcia, who just fought Javier Fortuna at 140 pounds and says that he's not really trying to go back down to 135 pounds and cut weight like that again. You have Devin Haney, who's clearly going to be at 140 uh, for four too long. He definitely looks like he drains way, way, way down to get to 135 pounds. Um, then, you know, uh, Roley, all these guys are going to probably wind up being at 140 pounds, 147 pounds. And that's where I think that these guys are going to be able to, you're really going to be able to see what these guys are made of one way or the other, right? And like in one way, by one way or the other, I mean, you know, you can see a guy like, um, let's just say Ryan Garcia, for example, if he goes to 100, he stays at 140 pounds, you can see him either get stronger Right. Where like he's not having to, um, uh, you know, cut as much weight. So he's landing. His shots are more powerful than they would have been at 135 pounds, similar to what happened with um, with Terrence Crawford when Terrence Crawford went from 135 to 140. Or you could have a scenario where these guys move up in weight and they wind up getting more exposed as they get up at bigger in weight because their successes had come more off of being able to beat and beat and fight smaller guys, right? Especially if they're, you know, as a consequence, when they move up to, you know, 140, 147 pounds, they don't really have the power that they had before because they weren't powerful at 135 and they may not very be powerful at 140, 147. And that stuff starts catching up to them. So we're definitely going to see Roley Romero at 147. And I do think we'll be able to see Roley against a high level opponent at 147. Personally, I say feed him the boots. That's my that's my that's my refrain for everybody. You want to move up there and go ahead and get uh and get Errol Spence, Jubriat and Errol Spence Jr. No worries, man. They got a guy over there that'll fight you. His name's Boots, man. His eyes ain't droopy, but you know, he'll make you stoop. That's what I'd like to see. But anyway, I like Roly Romero. I like I like the game that he's playing. It's interesting. It's fun to talk about, man. He adds a little bit of excitement to the game. And he's exciting in and out of the ring, whether he's knocking somebody out or getting knocked out or just following somebody around the ring wildly. I like Roly. I ain't hating on the man for, you know, for getting out there and saying what he's saying. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.